you might be feeling overwhelmed about what tomorrow holds, especially with all the challenges that keep piling up. It's perfectly normal to feel this way when things seem out of your control. But there's good news waiting for you right around the corner because God is already working things out for your benefit. Sometimes health issues can feel too big to handle, or maybe you're grappling with emotional burdens that weigh heavy on your heart. During these moments, it's important to remember that these troubles are temporary. God is actively working to pull you out of these hard times and set you firmly on solid ground. Imagine being lifted from unstable, muddy grounds and being placed on a rock so solid that nothing can shake you. That's the kind of security and stability God is ready to provide for you. You don't have to carry all those heavy burdens alone. You can leave your cares in God's capable hands. Here's something comforting to hold on to. Do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God. Believe also in me. These words from John 14 verse 1 aren't just nice sayings. They are a direct command from Jesus. He spoke these words to assure his disciples, and now they're meant for you too. Jesus knew his time with his disciples was nearing an end. They depended on him as their teacher and guide. Knowing the uncertainty and chaos that lay ahead for them, he offered these words to calm their troubled hearts. And just as they applied in the days leading up to his crucifixion, they resonate now to bring you peace. You might be facing a storm right now, a marital crisis, the loss of a loved one, or maybe financial setbacks. It's tough, and it can feel like you're walking this path alone, but remember, you're not. Whatever you're going through, there's comfort available to you right now. God sees all the nights you've spent tossing and turning, unable to sleep because of your worries. That's why he's brought this message to you, to strengthen you, and to remind you of his everlasting presence. These aren't just words, they are a lifeline. Do you remember a hymn that touches your heart? One that stirs you to lay everything at the master's feet? When pains rack your body and sorrows weigh down your spirit, take your burdens to the Lord and leave them there. He is faithful and will never let you down. As you face each day, make your first response one of peace, not worry. Anxiety and doubt won't change your situation. They only rob you of your peace. Keep your focus on God, the one who holds your solution. He is your refuge, your fortress, and your solid rock. Whatever comes your way, you will remain steadfast because you are in His care. Let's look a bit deeper into why it's so important for you to decide not to worry when challenges come knocking at your door. You have a choice here, and it's a powerful one. When you face something tough, you can either let worry consume you, or you can turn to prayer. Prayer isn't just a routine. It's your lifeline to peace. Philippians 4.6 lays it out pretty clear. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. This isn't just advice. It's a directive from the Bible telling you exactly what to do when your heart starts to get heavy with worries. When you pray, think of it like unpacking a suitcase after a long trip. Each concern, each heavy thought, you lay it out before God. Why? Because He cares for you deeply. He wants to hear what troubles you, not because He doesn't already know, but because He wants you to trust Him with your feelings and fears. Now, once you've laid all your burdens down in prayer, here's the crucial part. Leave them there. 
don't pick them back up again. Walking away from your prayer without your worry is like leaving a package at the post office. Once you hand it over, it's no longer yours to carry. The responsibility shifts to the one you've given it to, God in this case. And God isn't passive. He doesn't just sit on your worries. He's actively working to make a way for you, even when you're stuck in what feels like a wilderness. There's this incredible force of deliverance that kicks in when you pray. Your role? Simply to trust that He is at work. Give Him all those burdens. Tell Him about the hurt you feel, the distress from your job, or the anxiety that gnaws at you in the quiet moments. There's nothing too big or too small for Him to handle. Remember, if you were capable of fixing everything yourself, you wouldn't need His help. But you're not alone and you certainly aren't without help. God is your assurance. When you do take your concerns to Him, make a point not to leave His presence with any of them. Imagine them like hot potatoes. Once you pass them to God, you let go. They are no longer for you to juggle or worry about. You've transferred the ownership and with it, the burden of care. This transfer isn't just about easing your load, it's about trust. Trusting that God can handle the things you've given Him. Trust that He won't leave these issues unattended. He's already working on them, weeding outcomes you might not even have thought possible. If you find yourself in dire need, whether it's for healing, help in a crisis or peace amidst chaos, run to God. He won't turn you away. He's that strong tower, the safe place where you can find refuge during the fiercest trials. You just have to keep looking up to Him. And remember, faith isn't just about holding on to God's promises. It's about believing them to the point where they change how you see your situation. God gave His word to change your perspective to shift your view from the problem to the solution. You are an overcomer, not because of what you can do, but because God says you are. Begin to see your situation through the lens of faith. Just like Jesus said to the fig tree, and it withered from the roots, your problems, too, can diminish before your eyes. You might not see it right away, but have faith. Have faith in God, Jesus said. If God declares something done, then in the grand design of things, it's as good as done. Keep enforcing this reality, no matter what the current scenario tells you. Remember, we talked about not letting distractions and discouragement settle in your heart. That's where you need to start. Shut out the voices that tell you it's impossible, because with God, everything is within the realm of possibility. Look at Psalm 125, verse 1, where it says, Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, which cannot be shaken, but endures forever. This isn't just poetry. It's a promise. Like Mount Zion, you are unshakable, not because of your own strength, but because you have put your hope in God. That's a firm foundation that won't crumble. God is not someone who will forget what He has promised you. Every word He has spoken over your life is packed with His faithfulness. You can hold on to His promises tightly. These aren't empty words. They are the very thoughts of God laid out for every season you face. When you dive deep into the Bible, soaking up every word, you find strength that is not your own. It's like tapping into a power source that fuels you from the inside out. And it's not just about handling your problems. It's about finding peace while God works out those problems in ways you can't even imagine. 
You know how easy it is to see only your problems, to feel like they're bigger than everything else. It's time to flip that view. Magnify God above all your circumstances. He is bigger than any problem you can ever face. His power overshadows everything. When you start seeing things this way, your problems seem a lot smaller. So when the debt piles up, when the crisis seems too big, remember God's ability to bring you the victory you desire. Let go of trying to fix everything yourself. That's when you truly allow God to step in. He wants to take full control, but you need to give Him the space to do so. It might seem counterintuitive, but stepping back is often the most powerful step you can take. Hand over those heavy burdens to God and watch Him work. He's not just going to make a small tweak here and there. He's going to bring complete deliverance and healing. It's all about trusting Him completely. In every challenging moment, remember, there is hope. God can turn any situation around for your good. This means that no bad experience has the power to dictate the future God has planned for you. You're not defined by your struggles, but by God's promises. Take the story of Joseph, for example. He went through slavery, false accusations, and imprisonment, none of which looked like the fulfillment of the dreams God gave him. But God was with him through every single challenge, orchestrating the details of his life toward a greater end. Joseph's story didn't end in those dark places. He rose to a place of influence and fulfillment because he trusted God through it all. This should give you the courage not to let life's twists and turns throw you off course. Keep your eyes on what God can still do in your life. Remember, it's not just about trusting Him. It's also about waiting on Him. That waiting period might be tough. But victory comes to those who wait on God's perfect timing. Hold on to this truth as you face each day. Even the hardest times are temporary. They will pass. And soon, you'll look back and see how God has led you through every trial to a place of triumph. So hold on tight. Speak victory over your life and rest in the peace that only God can give. This peace isn't just a feeling. It's a state of being, rooted in the certainty that God is in control and He will never fail you. Just leave everything in His hands.